Hello, in this video, let's discuss fourth question of today's contest. You are given an integer and a number is called special if it is palindrome and every digit k in the number appears exactly k times. Return the smallest special number quickly greater than n. The constraints are n is up to 1 15. So, n is up to 1 15 and so the answer of length is at most 17 because for example 1 e 3 is of length 4 so the answer can be plus 1 and 1 e 15 is of length 16 so the answer can be plus 1 at most so let's assume that the answer can go up to 17 so we'll find all the palindromes of length 17 till 17 and what the question is saying so 0 can't be there because every digit should appear that many times so 0 should be appearing 0 times so it cannot appear and 1 can appear once 2 can be twice and so on if there is a 2 it should be 2 times if there is no 2 then there is no problem so in this way we have to find the next palindrome that is greater than n satisfying these conditions so firstly for a palindrome what are the simple things that we can think of so it is enough to get the half part so that the other is mirror of this for example we if we can find the left part then we can simply reverse it and we can add to the right so that it will be a new palindrome so instead of thinking about whole the length we can think of half length so we can find the half string and then we can add reverse to that so we can get the whole string and it is a palindrome so this can only have one number only which is odd if there is an odd number it can be only one it cannot be two for example if how can we have both three and five in the same string so three should be appearing three times and five should be appearing five times but palindrome can only have one at most odd which is in the middle so these both cannot be existing so before adding those we have to check whether we only have one odd or not so these are the few validations that should be kept in mind while finding the answer and how can we simply simulate this we can use a bit mask why because we can store a number so why we thought of bit mask it is simple because every number can be existing 0 or 1 if it is 0 it means that it is not in the given number given string in the final string and if it is 1 it means that it is existing and if for example the bit 3 is 1 what it means it means that it is existing so there are three threes so in this way we just want whether it is there or not because we will construct in such a way that if it is there it will be that many number of times so why we are using bit mask because we only want whether a number is there or not we will we will show we will make sure that it will be that many times added in the string so we are using bit mask for this so bit mask so and one less than less than what it means it means that we are finding whether ith bit is set or not so if bit if the bitwise and of ith bit is set in the mask if it is one it means that number is there and if it is zero it is not there and for example let's assume that we have one zero one so what it means so no need to think about zero right because we discussed that we only have one to nine so let's start the list from one instead of two which is which is instead of zero which we will do in the normal cases so for example one zero what means other all are zero so it means that one is there and three is also there this may not be a palindrome but one zero one represents that the string is the string can be one three 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 or it can be any palindrome of this any permutation of this so hope you got why we are using bit mask and what a bit mask represents here and now so we thought that the length is up to one is seventy so let's assume that we are at random length 12 so we are at random length 12 and what are the total strings that are possible with length 12 it is very difficult to think right so if we have one if we have one it should be one so the rest number of characters is 11 and so we can take two so if there are two it is nine so we can take two or we can have two so it is not straightforward we have to use some knapsack or other kind of dp to get the exact permutation of string so it is worse to think in terms of length because there can be many permutations because it can be three and if we have taken three it can be nine or it can be three one eight so there are many permutations possible and we cannot go through each and everything so instead of this we can think of a simply mask right so we already got we are using mask so we can traverse from all the masks from one to two two power nine why two power nine because two power nine minus one because there are one to nine so the count is nine so we can have two power nine number of possibilities where it can have it can be there it can be there it cannot be there, there. and simply minus one because two power nine minus one will be one 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 so two power nine is simply one and all zeros and we are we want all ones so that it is the maximum string that can be found by taking all so
So instead of going through lengthwise, we can go through mask quiz. So we can travel through all these marks, masks, and then if there is a mask, we got that. What are the characters that are included? So we have discussed here, right? So by this, for a given mask, we can check whether this is a valid mask, or valid mask or not, by finding the total length. For example, if the mask is one zero one, so what it means? So we have one, we have three also, and what is the count of this? It is four. So is four less than or equal to seventeen? Obviously yes. So this is one of the valid string, not valid number, but this is just a valid valid string. So if we got length greater than seventeen, then we will break directly here. If it is less than or equal to seventeen, this is a valid thing, and then we will check whether this is a valid parallel or not, and then we can do all the invalidations. So for now we got that instead of traversing lengthwise, it is better to tra traverse maskwise. So for a mask, we will do all the operations possible. So let's start. Mask is equal to one. It means that it is one. So only one is there. This is the smallest possible string that is possible. And till mask less than two power nine and increase the mask. And now we want the odd also because we are checking whether parent or not. And we want length also because we will break the loop if the length is greater than max. And initially max is equal to seventeen. And then start traversing mask wise and and zero to nine. So if the ith bit is set, it means that i number is there. So if i is there, what is the number of length? It will be simply i present because we discussed this that zeroth bit is one. So zeroth bit is one with one frequency. Third bit is number four with fourth frequency with four frequency. So for i is equal to three, the count will be i plus one, which is four. So d is equal to frequency, which is i plus one, and length plus equal to d. Because this is the new frequency. If this is there, and hence increase length by that much, and then if this is odd, so for example, if d, if d is three, it means that three is there. So if three is there, one odd is there, there cannot be any other odd. So if d is mod two is one, so increment odd, and then finally, if length is greater than max, so for example, it means that for example, we have mask is equal to two point nine minus one, it means one 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 and so on till, and what is the length of it? It will be simply one plus two plus two. Three plus and so on till nine, because we all have those set as one. So obviously the count will be one plus two plus three and so on till nine, which is approximately forty-five. So we cannot have that. The length can be at most seventeen. So if the length is greater than that, this mask is not there. So simply break it. And after traveling, after traversing the whole mask and i is equal to zero to nine, if length is zero, so this cannot be possible. So just in its case, so this can be removed as well. And length is greater than max. So we already removed this, and if odd is greater than one, so if odd is greater than one, then continue, because this mask is invalid. Why invalid? Because we have two characters which are greater than odd. So we can continue this only if all these three conditions are in, are correct. If it is not, it means that it is not a valid mask. So simply continue. So we'll go to next mask, and then we'll continue the whole process. And so we discussed that. Making half palindrome is enough, so we can make the rest of the palindrome as well. So now we got the valid mask right, and now construct the left half. And there is, and if there is odd, then make center also. For example, if this is the bitwise, if this is the mask, then it means that we have characters one, two, four. So we are thinking about only left half. So for the left half, we can have one, two, and we can have two because we discussed that we are only thinking about half. So we can make those characters half. And then we can build the left half, and we have odd also. So so make this one, and we got the left. So reverse this and add it to the right. So for this mask, so for mask one to four, is this the only palindrome that is possible? Obviously no, because there can be permutations of this also, right? So we can have two double four, we can have four to four, we can have double four two, and then and then one to the next. And then we can add one to this, and then reverse part of these three. So in this way, not only adding those, but also we have to make sure all the permutations of the left half also come, so that two double four, so all these three will come, and then we will add the center to this because there is odd, and then we will reverse this part and then add. So these all are valid, and then we will in and then we will make this too long, and then we will add into the vector because it is given that. We want the next palindrome that is greater than n. So if we have the vector of all, then we can simply find the upper bound and then we can return. So for this, we discussed that we 
we can find a mask which is valid and if it is valid then construct a possible first left half so construct it and then sort the left half by sorting because we can make all the permutations by next permutation function stl so if we give the list list string then it will make automatically all parent all permutations of it so for this we are sorting to get the list on and then we will use next permutation and we will and it will automatically generate next palindromes for example if we give 244 to the input then the next will be 424 because this is the next smallest palindrome after 244 and then after this it will be 44 and in this way it will construct all the all the possible palindromes and then we got all the left possible and we will add the center if it exists and then we will reverse this part and then we will make all this long long and then we will convert to answer so let's check the code of that part also so we are using a left and then making center null center zero so that we can check if it is there if it is not there we can simply don't add and we are traveling again from zero to nine and if the mask so similarly to the first one if this is set so if this is set what it means so if count is odd it means that we got a center so if count is odd then center is equal to d for example if d is 3 then we are making this 3 because we are thinking in terms of string for now so we are adding here and then we traverse from 0 to count by 2 why count by 2 because we discussed that we are constructing left half for example if we have 6 so 0 to 3 is enough so add character of d to the left so we are only constructing half the length for example we have we have 6 so we are traversing from 0 to 2 count by 3 so less than 3 which is 2 so for 6 we are adding 3 count so we are traversing from 0 to 2 so what does this do so giving a mask which is a valid palindrome we are constructing a single possible left half and then we will sort it later so from this we are finding the center part if it exists and then we are finding the left half so after we are sorting the left why sorting because for next permutation we want the least string so that it will start forming the next palindromes so then we are finding the left string so we are simply just adding to the left left string so left string will be for example 244 and then so we are finding the whole palindrome so if center exists so if center exists it means that we got the left string and then add the center and then add the rest of the part so if center exists then what is the palindrome so left part plus center plus reverse the left part so if we got 244 add the center because it exists here and then add double fourth and if there is no center so simply so if there is no center then simply left string plus reverse of left string. and then if the size greater than 17 or 18 then continue because we discussed that the length can be 17 or 18 and if it is greater than 18 then simply continue because this is not the valid possible answer because we discussed that for 1 15 the answer will be surely of length 16 or 17 or 18 so then simply continue and then just convert this string to long long i think we can use string to long long sto ll also or we can just simply traverse through the palindrome and then make this long long and then simply push the value to result and in this way we are finding all the possible palindromes with a given condition and we are simply using do while loop so that the loop will break when the last permutation is given is reached for example if the string is 244 initially it will go to 424 it will come to 442 is there any other palindrome greater than 442 with this obviously you know this is the highest one because this is the decreasing order so this is the highest one so simply it will break the loop so we are using do while and we are sorting and we are passing this to parameters next permutation so in this way we are finding every possible mask we are finding every possible permutation of lift half and then we are finding the next string palindrome and then we are making this long long and then we are adding to the answer and finally we can find the upper bound so the code is exactly same we are start we make we made mx is equal to 17 and then so we can start from finding the mask possible valid mask and then forming the left half and then forming all the permutations and then inserting into set and then we are finally pushing back to our answer and we are passing we are finding the vector and then we are returning the upper bound of the given number 
So in this way we can find the answer. If you have any doubts, comment below. See you in the next video.